Hey all, JTC here, and today I want to talk about what is coming up in the upcoming patch. For those that don't know, there is a new patch that's going to be coming out around the end of this month, which has some really, really exciting changes in it. The first of which, of course, is the completion of the crafting system with the ability to modify blessings. Uh, but on top of that, they're doing a lot of other things. For example, they're also making some changes to the uh, resources within the game. They're going to be increasing the amount of resources you find just in general when you play, but on top of that they're also going to be adjusting the resources in that you're not going to be getting such a large discrepancy of diamantine in the higher difficulties, but you're going to find more of kind of a balance between the two. Now, I still would personally prefer to see a way to uh, transform plastine, plasteel into diamantine or vice versa, but this is still a great step in the right direction. But this is not all. They're going to be making a bunch of different changes to the mission board, uh, to the armory exchange, to the uh, sire milk missions, as well as they're adding some emotes. Um, in front of me is the comms link that they released just today, which I really highly recommend you go and read, which I'll link down in the description. But just kind of as a brief glance, they're going to be making some changes to the mission board. They're going to be increasing the amount of missions that appear from 12 to 16. And there's also going to be more higher level missions. And they're going to be cycling out more frequently so you're not stuck playing the same missions. On top of that, um, they're going to be adding the ability to earn blessings permanently. Um, I think what this is in reference to is in the dev blog. They originally said you had to collect individual blessings per weapon. So uh, you wouldn't be able to add a blessing on a thunder hammer, for example, onto a heavy heavy eviscerator until you found it specifically on a heavy eviscerator and if I understand this correctly they got rid of that so that just that now if you find a blessing on a weapon you can just put it on any weapon which is a great change on top of that they're also going to be adding the ability to purchase just basic white tier weapons in the armory exchange once you unlock them which will completely eliminate the frustration of wanting to play with a specific weapon but not being able to find it in the shop they're also going to be tweaking sire milk's missions so that they will be more rewarding and then they're going to be adding some emotes. But that is actually not all. They did just make a post today on the Fat Shark forums that talked about modding policies, which means that there is actually going to be mod support in Darktide. Now, uh, originally they said there wasn't going to be mod support, and it looks like they changed their mind, which is absolutely fantastic, because modding is what's going to keep this game alive for, you know, many, many years to come. However, the modding uh, is going to be a little more restrictive in Darktide than it was in Vermintide. For example, um, there's going to be no mods allowed that directly um, alter the game, such as, you know, with difficulty or balance tweaks so we're not going to have anything like death wish or onslaught or community balance posts but anything that directly affects you client side so like um ui tweaks and quality of life things are allowed and those are going to be absolutely huge jsat actually just made a video on this today and uploaded it in which he um showcases a lot of the mods that actually have already been created and tested and according to him work really really well. I'm not going to go through uh, the video. If you want to check out the video I highly recommend you check it out if you want to see all the different mods that are um, going to be allowed. I'll link it in the description as well but there's going to be a lot of different quality of life mods for the armory, for crafting, for the mission board. There's going to be health bars and damage numbers um, in game. There's going to be um, a creature spawner within the meat grinder where you can actually turn on the AI and and directly test, you know, pox burster shoves and mutant dodges and hound dodges and all these fantastic things that it's just gonna make the game feel so much better. I'm super excited for all of these changes and you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below as well. See you next time.